What's up YouTube, Andre here guys, back with another video. Now, some of you may not have known that in order for Sony to be allowed to sell their handsets in the US, they have to disable the fingerprint scanner. What's really weird is that the phones come with the technology built in them, they have the capabilities to scan your fingerprint and unlock your device, however, they are forced to disable it in the US. Super interesting video guys, let's get straight into it. Now, Sony have not been allowed to bring a phone into the US with a functioning fingerprint scanner. So phones such as the XZ Premium, you are only able to unlock the device using a password, pin or pattern. And this has been the case for many years. Sony have never really provided a clear answer to all this. More often than not, they will just say that this feature was not really being used in the US. However, only recently in 2017, somebody by the name of Don Messer, who is the head of marketing for Sony in North America, has started to give us a clearer image of what was going on. He said, and I quote, that was very much about us consciously deciding that we want to continue our business here in the US, and that's one of the conditions for us to be able to do business. So from this, it sounds like Sony had two options, either stop selling their handsets in the US, or keep selling their handsets with one condition. Essentially, based on some deal that Sony made with the US years ago, if they want to sell phones in the US, it cannot do that with a functioning fingerprint scanner. So Sony decided to continue selling their devices, but just to disable the reader altogether. Now, this seems like the sensible thing to do, but why would Sony make such a deal in the first place, which would put them at a huge disadvantage compared to their competition? Now, according to Android Central, when Don Mesa was asked about the specifics of the deal, Mesa confirmed that this all came about because of friction between Sony and the US carriers. A few years ago, Sony wanted to begin selling unlocked handsets in the US, instead of the handsets being locked to a specific network. What's interesting is that the US carriers did not like that and this somehow led to Sony's restrictions in selling to the US market. Now the exact details of what happened and how Sony came to be in this position may never be revealed. However, there is a huge light at the end of the tunnel. The good news is that recently, Sony handsets have started to ship to the US with the fingerprint scanner enabled. And I mean enabled out of the box without having to hack it or import it from outside of the US. The XA2, XA2 Ultra and L2 were the first phones to be shipped to the US with the fingerprint scanner enabled. Now, all these phones were released a few months ago around January 2018. What's worth pointing out is that all three of these devices have the fingerprint scanner on the back and not embedded into the power button like previous Sony phones. Let me just point out that I really loved having the fingerprint scanner and the power button all in one. I thought that was really clever, easy to use and simply a great design. So perhaps they've moved the scanner to the back to avoid any more regulatory issues in the US. So for the Sony fans in the US, they may finally start to get Sony's flagship devices like the XZ2 and the XZ2 Compact with everything enabled. Because as you know, Sony have been busy moving all their fingerprint scanners to the back of the phone. And as sad as it may seem, we may not see a Sony smartphone with a fingerprint scanner embedded into the power button anytime in the near future, all because of the US market and some deal that Sony made a long time ago. Amazing guys, so there you have it. This could be a huge reason why Sony's moving all the fingerprint scanners to the back of the phone. Now, I would really love to know what you guys think. And also, if you wanna see more things like this, leave everything in the comments down below. Remember, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you really, really enjoyed this video, smash that subscribe button. I appreciate all your support. Thank you for watching and have a good day. <laughs>